Hello everyone, this is Civic Extraordinaire, and this is episode 4 of our Imperator Rome Let's Play as Byzantion. From the last episode, I think it's been like 2 or 3 weeks, almost maybe even a month, since uh, we had episode 3 as Byzantion. The map has changed a bit because I had to update the game. Uh, basically, I just finished a live stream like a few days ago. Um, as I'm recording this, that was today. But, um, just by the time you see this. Anyhow, like a few days ago, basically, uh, I decided to do a quick live stream and kind of recap. Um, and get my work my way back up from Byzantion. Um, starting out. And just to claim a few adjacent tiles, I'll link that uh, video, like right here. Um, at the top right of the screen if you want to check that out. But anyhow, um, I was just catching up because... If you didn't know, patches invalidate saves, so I could not load my previous saves and continue the Let's Play, and that was unfortunately a bit detrimental. So I still wanted to do, uh, I thought I just, I thought you guys deserved at least um, a few more episodes since I felt guilty um, not doing anything. So we have an event for uh, the Olympics, I'll nominate this guy. If you watch the stream, uh, we got into a war recently. Um, we still managed to get an ally. Uh, or find an ally in Thrace. And Istros. Okay, there you go. Bold as ever. Uh, anyhow. We basically allied ourselves with uh, Thrace. And we are still miraculously an ally um, of Thrace somehow. So it looks like Paphlagogia is even facing its own little revolt. Um, but I think we're doing a lot better off um, compared to last episode anyhow. Um, just because... We are a lot more stable. We have a lot better uh, Senate approval. And I think I was just about to declare war with Astakos, who was in a defensive pack with Bithynia. So you also have an ally, uh, an alliance with Kios. Okay. Anyhow, we don't have a truce with them. So I think we're going to go ahead and get Thrace in on this, uh, just to kind of weaken them a little bit. And we also are going to get some approval from Oligarchs, which is really nice about um, having increased support in the Senate. We are the Democrat Party, um, which means, okay. Wait, they refused to join us? What? Hold on, they just said they would. What the hell? I thought they'd join us. Hold on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. let me load this back. I'm gonna, <laughs> um, let me just cut that out real quick. Where is... What the hell do you think you're doing, Thrace? I thought they literally just said they'd approve that. Sorry. Um, but I was just caught off guard by that. So you should... They just gave us the green check mark. And now they've honored it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, maybe it was something with, like, power ranks or something and how that's calculated. Anyhow... I think it's a good idea to go ahead and get into a war with Astaco, so I'll slow down the game a bit. Um, maybe not. They're going to attack us right now. Okay, probably not a good idea then. Anyhow, we are victorious. And, uh, of course, our commander dies in the middle of the battle. Okay. And we're defeated. <laughs> okay, so um, I really need to get... Let me just see. We have attachments turned on from the last stream. Uh, we could even call Scythia in, but they will be useless since I don't think they have much of a navy. And we need to quickly reappoint some of these commanders. Uh, we have some scorned families too, but I'm really hoping Thrace comes to our aid, at least. Maybe they'll come down over here. Sorry, my commentary is a bit jumpy. I, I was super, super caught off guard um, by Thrace's betrayal. Thankfully, we managed to work that out, so I don't know if that was a bug or something. We already have a huge war score bonus just because we have Thrace on our side. So I'm hoping to leverage this as much as possible and kind of um, maybe weaken Thrace just a little bit. So with that in mind, it looks like someone is also coming to war against Thrace. I don't know who that is. But, um, Astakos maybe? Oh, Kizikos. So I think we're working our way back. I kind of want to replenish my garrison. Something we were working on in the live stream was integrating um, the Bithynians. I think we should have a levy with them. Let me just see here. 
Yes, we do. So I want to quickly combine our levies, and then I just had the reason I didn't have them raised earlier was because. I've had this guy up because I've been in constant wars, so I didn't think to raise out my other levy once I've assimilated the uh, citizens there. So, they keep trying to fight me in the open water. I have a very good commander, I think. So, that is very unlikely to happen. Now that we have 4,000 troops, we shouldn't have to worry too much about losing sieges. And I guess the war goal is to completely annex. Uh, okay, let's let the looting be gentle. I don't want to kill any pops. We will get some gold from that. Um, but the main goal is just to annex this territory. We're not looking to commit any major war crimes. You guys keep doing... I think we're um, the reason they're taking those costly battles is because we're forcing them out of their ports. They have a port right here on the Sea Propontis. So, anyhow. Justine put out her things. Okay, so are we working on this? Yes, we are. And we're already at 48 war score. Possibly... Okay, Bosporan has declared war on them. I don't really care too much about that. Um, but potentially, we go ahead and annex... Um, Astakos and maybe Kios. And we'll get a ton of pops from that. These are some super high population provinces. Relatively speaking, of course, it's nothing like Rome or Pela. But um, these are still sizable provinces. Yeah, 20. That's pretty good. Speaking of sizable provinces, I think Byzantium started out at 16 pops, and now we're already at like 22. So that's an additional 6 pops, and we should get some more just from migration. Which is further boosted by our mission, uh, Ski Toy Security. Also hoping to uh, complete some of those uh, other missions, because we will be moving towards uh, the Black Sea. So hopefully once we get some more ports there, we will uh, get some more bonuses. Okay, in the midst of a fallow season, a fallow season as Benis Deopede, one of our most esteemed governors, held a vast and lavish party in his summer palace at Libisa. Okay. Display of contempt. Uh, let's just get a new governor. I don't want to screw with that too much. We need as much loyalty as we can get. So, I'll put you in here. And we still have some scorned families, unfortunately. Okay, why aren't you sieging? Oh, you are. I was looking at someone else. Okay, and you should be... I'll just speed this up a bit. One of the... A neat thing I also found out was how to take screenshots, because... Ooh, Bithynian privileges. Okay, I cannot actually... Um, what is this? That's unfortunate. But I cannot actually take this, because I need the levies. This is super stupid. So, I'm going to use my Archon Veto, um, and we're going to lose some approval, but I have to do that because I need them to be citizens for my extra levies. Where the hell are you going? Can I not control you? Why are you going all the way over there? Okay, that is dumb. Because I need to siege this right now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, this is super stupid. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're doing, buddy. You need to get back here immediately. Don't get bitchy with me. <sighs> super, super stupid. Okay, they at least turned that over to us. I can't deal with these unloyal generals. They're really starting to piss me off. You need to get over there ASAP. Get over to Kios. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. That's super stupid. You need to follow my orders. Who is this guy? Okay, we need to take you out. Maybe we assassinate him. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Okay, maybe we can bribe and remove him. Okay, I'll do that immediately. Because you are nowhere near loyal enough. So, let's do that. That's perfect. We, did, we knock out a scorn family and we get someone more loyal. Um, so, that's fine with me. But I guess that's an interesting mechanic loyalty. Um, I don't love it or hate it. It has some bonuses and some negatives. 
the big uh, <laughs> negative being people can actually disobey you. And the AI can do some pretty stupid things. So if someone decides that they hate you all of a sudden, uh, or your character does something stupid to piss them off in like the middle of a war, you can kind of get screwed over. Anyhow, we have our first military tradition. I've kind of been debating this, whether we want polis or Greek kingdom traditions. I think the poles are generally better. And we also get Propontic Freeman. So that's super, super powerful. Um, <laughs> that's like a free six, like six total pops. And plus 5% morale of armies, uh, which is super, super good. Uh, I think we're just going to take this just outright. I mean, plus 6 pops is super powerful. So that should be 24. 25, which is great. Uh, we must have gained someone else. But that's really, really nice. So I'll take that. Anything to double our pops, which in turn uh, just makes us a stronger nation overall. And we should uh, be growing even more once we start... Uh, taking some slaves from the provinces here. All right. So, I always love this map. I keep going on about it, but really this map is so, so pretty. I think I might even go ahead and put a fort in Ostakos. Okay, and we've won the Siege of Kios. Okay. I think that should be turned over to us. I'm not too sure. Okay, so they haven't actually... I guess they're not turning it, turning it over to us. Um, since it's not our war goal. Maybe I'll wait. Just go back here. But I don't know if they'll actually give us this either. So, Senatorial Resistance. I need as much approval as I can get. Um, so I'll take the Tyranny and Stab Hit. We need some more stability though. So that is not good. Um, we are close to a civil war. We've got a ton of people that's pissed off. Uh, let me give you free hands. Give you free hands. Free hands. Okay, we will corrupt them just a little bit, but I mean, we got to do whatever we can to stop a civil war. And we have another scorned family. Who is this? The Esbanid. So maybe we can slot them with the oratory. Okay, there we go. So I will take you. You're a lot more loyal. And that should clear us of the scorned families. Apparently, we need to put a few more Esbenids in there. Anyhow, I want to see how this siege goes. I should probably quickly save here. I know not to save over files because that kind of screwed us over, I think, like an episode ago. Anyhow. Let's go assist our ally, Thrace. And thankfully, we're still friendly with Thrace. I think I want to keep improving relations. We have plus 200, but I mean, that can slip at any time. So, I'll keep improving. Just because I'm a bit paranoid. Okay. We can speed this up just a little bit. Friends across borders. Alright, let's also improve opinion. Okay. Should have this soon. And they immediately peaced out <laughs> once we got 100. Okay. I feared that would happen, which is why I immediately auto saved. So I'm going to default on that very, very quickly. Thankfully, uh, I know to auto save because I learned from my mistakes in the live stream. So. Let us grab Ostakos and Kios. And I think that is all we can do right now. So I guess we'll just have to be um, content with that. That's only like what? One aggressive expansion? That's like nothing, considering we also have bonuses to reduce that from Fatiales, the interference palace policy and our uh, mission. So our enemies deserve no quarter. We don't really care about aggressive expansion. Okay, um, and we also have some maintenance to do with these forts, so we also should probably get these levees under control. And I'll just station you guys here. We can move these ships back to port. What did these guys, what happened to our ships? I think they might have got stacked right by the pirates. I might have completely missed that. 
Okay, I think I, I think we lost our ships to the pirates. That sucks. Uh, we got to rebuild those really quickly. And we really need to... Um, oh, we have support in the Senate. For whatever reason, I thought we were kind of lacking on that. That front. Anyhow, uh, we will, I guess, wait until Thrace kind of um, clears out this war. We have the Odessan Thracian War. It looks like that is mostly cleared up. Um, but I think Buri da Vencia has... Are you a, a tributary of Thrace? No. Uh, it looks like they have taken over um, some of the Dacian clans. So I guess they might be a bulwark against Thrace. We need any other, any kind of roadblock we can to stop Thrace from expanding in that region. Because as you can see already, they have amassed quite a lot of territory. Um, but our, our, we're basically trying to um, beat them before they run out the clock on us and f fully engulf us. So, I want to get a demolish, a fort here, because I don't really need that. Um, and that's kind of costly. Okay, I don't want to, I want to demolish that. So, how do I, left clicking should get rid of this. So, I don't know why that fort is still there. Okay, that is really weird. Anyhow, let me just get these envoys. You can hear the sound effect I'm clicking, but for whatever reason, I can't demolish it. Also, interestingly, there's only one person in that province. All right, we need loyalty, so we'll take that. We are kind of losing gold, um, but at least our cities are looking a lot nicer. Looking quite prosperous here. Okay. So I don't know what is happening here. I, I know there's not enough people in Chalkedon for another building, but I want to um, destroy the building. So is it one queued or something? There can't be because the building slots are full. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay, that's really weird. Maybe if you guys in the chat know, I, I also accidentally paused there. Um, but I think we will fabricate another claim on Kios. We're not going to break our truce, but we just want to keep expanding. They're also in a defensive league with Bithynia, so we should be able to whittle them away. Uh, we should also have a peace treaty with Bithynia. They are in, have been in a revolt for like 10 years now. Um, it's kind of ridiculous here. But it looks like Thrace absorbed Odyssea. And we really need to get out of this war. This is kind of getting uh, dumb. When are you guys going to finish here? Looks like they're getting their ass kicked by the Bosphoran Kingdom. So we may just ditch Scythia entirely. I can't take this war exhaustion any longer. Um, it may even be, be taking our uh, tanking our support in the Senate. I'm not too sure on the specific mechanics of that. But we have advanced martially. Um, and we have a new import route. So we have horses for our poles. And, well, I don't know if the Poles need horses, but we do need some grain. How is our citizen approval looking like? We could improve our Freeman relations, so I think we'll get, like, some wine, maybe. Any big modifiers of Freeman happiness? Let's go ahead and get wine. Though, we don't really have legions, so I think we'll get leather if we can. All right, Irish Superioris, I'll take it. Thank you, and I think that slightly uh, bumped up our approval with them. Byzantion is becoming the ver a uh, very educated city. So they're getting a ton of freemen. Let me quickly fill out the tree for re religious affairs. Um, I think we'll get the unintegrated culture group happiness. Actually, let's get the integrated culture group happiness because we have two of them already. Um, and then we can move on to here next. All right, but again, if any of you guys know I can't, I can't delete that fort. Please let me know. Not really sure why I have no option to do that. I don't know if I, there's a tooltip mode I need to access, or if I'm just doing something wrong. I'm really hoping we finish this war with the Bosporan Kingdom. Okay, so let me speed this up a bit. 
We also have another law. These, I guess the Senate is happy because they keep passing laws and are not really bitching too much about it. Um, but I will definitely take this tyranny uh, law because I need to reduce tyranny as much as possible. Just because the more tyranny you have, if you didn't know, uh, I think it goes up to 100. Once you start getting more and more tyranny, like 50 or 60, civil wars become like inevitable. And they happen all the time. And you can take one or two civil wars as a minor power, but I mean, once they start... Um, they start getting more uh, deadly and violent the, the larger you are because there's more factions at play. Um, and I think other major powers can also start to interfere in that. So we have to just be careful of where we draw the line for tyranny and whatnot. But I do want to get out of this war. Let me build some more ships for uh, waiting around. There we go. But yeah, I think pirates must have hit our uh, fleet or something. Thrace is kind of looking scary. I'm glad we have them as an ally. Okay, and they're not getting too ambitious. We need to keep improving relations with them. So anything to just keep their attitude up. Okay, we're no longer importing base metals. Let's find a new producer of that. We want to keep that Freeman happiness up. And we have a new uh, event, an influential family. Kerses of the renowned Esbenid family has deigned to offer us the support of his family's vast network of contracts. Contracts. Okay, yeah, I wonder what he wants. Okay, friends in high places. Okay, we kind of do need to curry favor with the Esbenid family. So, I'm perfectly fine with parlaying with them. We'll accept an import route for some money. And actually, that brings my attention to Italy. It looks like Rome is quickly expanding. Last, um, in the live stream, Rome, I think, was at war with Etruria, but they completely annexed them. So that is a bit scary. I'm hoping Carthage can put um, their foot in the door and kind of stop them from going crazy, but the Gallic tribes are super disorganized. So unless they unite, I don't think they're going to stand much of a chance against Rome, especially with their insane bonuses towards combat. Um, and I think they have bonuses towards legions too, which makes sense, but still, um, it's a bit over the top. Alright, let's import from Cyprus. And we lack a commander. Let us get... Um, the Esbenes are a bit disloyal. Which is a bit worrying for me. But I mean, I kind of want to because... Yeah. I just want to because um, I don't want to have the Scorn families pissed off too much. Anyhow, he should like us. So... I don't think we have to worry about loyalty issues from now on. It looks like Bithynia finally got their shit together, though. They finally won uh, one territory. But we still aren't, have not finished war with the Bosphorin nation. I'm really wondering when we can sue for peace. Okay, we, now we have a claim on Kios. So I think we might go to war with Kios. Um, they're only allied with Bithynia. So... Maybe we just save and quickly see if we can uh, manage a war against them. Just to finish off the episode. Um, let me position my troops really quickly over here. And then we can see how well we do against Kios. And then we have plenty of fortresses to back us up here. So. Breaking truce. Oh, we would be breaking a truce. I completely forgot about the truce cooldown. <laughs> um, we will wait for our truce to complete. Uh, anyhow, I think this will be the end for today's episode. B a bit of a shorter episode, I think. I'm not too sure on that timing. Um, my phone is dead, so... Uh, looks like Scythia will find... What the hell happened there? More pirates. Damn it. Um, <laughs> but it looks like Scythia is finally losing this war. It's been dragging on forever. Look at our war exhaustion. It is terrible. Uh, I'm breaking my alliance with Scythia after this because it's getting a bit ridiculous. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been episode 4 of our Imperato Rome Let's Play, and it looks like another Civil War is brewing. So, I guess we'll tend to this next episode. Um, we'll just give you free hands. 
But thanks again. So leave a like if you like the episode. And I'll see you guys in episode four. All right. Peace.